In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Copilot to generate ideas and to narrow those ideas for a paper and to create outlines for that whatever topic you come up with. So I'm going to click on Copilot. Since I'm in Edge, I can open it just with this link. Copilot is an AI companion. The reason it's called that is because it has access to the chat GPT 4.0 engine and it also combines that with Bing search if you're in either creative mode or precise mode. It has a third conversational style of more balanced and when you select this option you're only accessing the AI engine. You are not searching at the same time. So the thing that I want to do is first to give the AI some context. I am a freshman English student and need to write a paper. I am interested in sports and how they affect society. I'm not sure if it's a, a effect with an A or an E, but the AI will know. Please create 10 ideas, uh, 10 possible topics on the subject. So generative AI is a very good brainstorming tool. It helps you get started. In this case, it's going to help me narrow my topic and be more specific about what I want to write about. So let's take a look here. Uh, the role of sports in, gen in promoting gender equality, the effect of impact of sports on mental health, on physical health, uh, the impact of sports on education. I'm kind of interested in that one. So I'm going to select that and copy it. And now I'm going to say, please generate three possible outlines on the topic of include a thesis statement for each one. And the reason I ask it to go ahead and generate three outlines is it gives me more ideas to choose from. And also the creation of a thesis statement is something that students sometimes struggle with because they don't understand the difference between just presenting information and adhering to a thesis statement which oftentimes suggests an action based on the information that you've found. So what you'll notice also as it's generating uh, these uh, different outlines is it's, uh, it's going through and, and doing things from a different perspective. It's also showing us some resources where it pulled from uh, to find this information. So if I scroll up here, I can see that there's a thesis statement. Uh, in this case, uh, Partition in sports can have a positive impact on academic performance and promote lifelong learning. Um, so you can see how this is a very good tool to get students started with writing. You could even go one step further and say, please expand in, I misspelled that, please expand in more detail, outline, one and it will even give us more specific information about how we should organize our paragraphs it's even giving us a full paragraph that we could that we could use now if we were to just copy and paste that paragraph into our paper that would be ch uh, cheating however we could take that paragraph and rewrite it in our own words. As you can see, the generative AI can be a useful tool in generating ideas and helping people organize their writing.